the family of John Atkinson, who died in the Manchester Arena bombing, have refused to accept the apology of an ambulance chief over the delays that some doctors say contributed to his death. John was badly injured in the blast four years ago, but lay on the floor of the arena's foyer for almost an hour before paramedics arrived. Experts have told the public inquiry that earlier treatment could have saved him. A short time ago, his family's lawyer read a statement on their behalf. John was our son, brother, uncle and friend. He was kind, intelligent and would light up any room he walked into. Everyone who knew him loved being around him. His caring nature led him always to put others first. He was the best uncle to his nephews, most caring of sons and brothers. He worked with young adults with autism and he looked forward to being a foster father. Since his untimely passing, our lives have been shattered as we try to live with the massive void he used to fill. We have so many questions that we hope the inquiry can help to answer. We lost our beloved John to an appalling atrocity whilst on a night out, an atrocity which could and should have been prevented by proper security. To compound this, John was badly let down by some from Mistake after mistake was made and precious time was allowed to ebb away whilst John needed urgent hospital treatment. This should never have been allowed to happen. John had so much more to give. We heard the apology last week from Mr Smith from the North West Ambulance Service. We cannot accept this apology. Actions speak louder than words and we want to see what actions are taken to ensure that this never happens again. Finally, we would like to thank those who tried to help John in his time of need. Ronald Blake, in particular, is a hero. Hearing about the kindness of strangers on the night has offered us a small glimmer of hope in our darkest moments. Thank you. Well, let's head to the court in Manchester and join Sky's Inzman Rashid, who's been listening to the evidence. And uh, Inzman, details of what happened to John, desperately sad. Yeah, they really are. But look, that's the epitome of this inquiry, Jonathan, to get to the bottom of what happened on the night of the 22nd of May 2017. The inquiry is trying to find out exactly the details of what happened that evening, and that includes some of the horrific details of those victims, the 22 who were blown up by Salman Abedi at the Manchester Arena. And this one in particular is incredibly poignant because John Atkinson, 28 years old, a care worker from Bury, Greater Manchester, could have survived and it's down to the fact that paramedics that ambulance services were so short in terms of the numbers they couldn't get in to help save lives now the details uh, that came out throughout the inquiry it was a, a few days of evidence given the final day today revealed how john atkinson was severely injured from uh, from the bomb he was only six meters away from salman abadi when he detonated his device and he received serious injuries to his legs. Now, those legs were, were tourniqueted by um, someone who was in the arena at the time, but there was no expert medical attention given to John Atkinson for at least 47 minutes. That meant his injuries that were already incredibly serious became even worse. He was then stretched out on a makeshift stretcher, an advertising board, uh, uh, around 58 minutes later, and it was an hour and 20 minutes until John Atkinson was actually in an ambulance receiving uh, some, some specific and expert medical attention. That meant that it was too much of a toll on his body and he suffered from a cardiac arrest. He is just one of the 22 victims and one poignantly that we heard could have survived the Manchester arena attack four years ago. Now we heard uh, evidence given from a number of people. One 
person in particular, Ronald Blake. He was mentioned in the family statement, a statement where the family say they cannot accept the apology of Northwest Ambulance Service. But Ronald Blake actually stayed with Mr Atkinson for 58 minutes in total. By his side, he was on the phone to emergency services telling them about Mr Atkinson's situation uh, at the time. But as I mentioned in that statement we heard from the family lawyer, not accepting the apology from Northwest Ambulance Service. This is what Dan Smith, a commander from NWAS, had to say to the inquiry last week. Mr Atkinson's death will um, remain with his family for a very long time and, and I am truly sorry if any decision that I made, any decision, um, impacted on his survivability. Now, John Atkinson, when he was with paramedics, eventually was pleading with them. He said, please don't let me die, reminding them that he was in severe pain from the injuries of the bomb as they tried to take him to uh, ambulance services and then to hospital. But there was pure chaos um, on that night. And uh, as ambulance service struggled to get inside the foyer of the Manchester arena, it meant dozens of people, hundreds of people, were severely injured from that attack. But this, again, uh, one story of the 22 victims that died that night and the story of Jen Atkinson at this inquiry coming to a close today. But with that poignant statement from the family directly saying that they do not accept the apology, but also pointing out the heroes on the night that were there with Mr Atkinson. So yes, some very sad details, Jonathan, but the inquiry continues and we will hear more evidence of other people who sadly died four years ago at the Manchester Arena attacks.